Well, the town of Ipswich was devastated in the floods. Thousands of homes and businesses were inundated when the Bremer River peaked in January. Mayor Paul Pisali hopes the report will provide some assurance that a natural disaster on that scale can never happen again. Well, he joins us now on the phone. Mayor Pisali, many thanks for joining us. How was Ipswich impacted by the floods? 300,000 homes that were impacted, businesses, $120 million of, um, of public damage and um, devastation in the community. You know, the people displaced from their homes and we're just now, 14 months on, slowly re recovering from the devastation of the, the floods of January 2011. So, so tell us, how is the region recovering? We're going well. It's, it's because neighbours have been helping neighbours. The support that came in from around the country, we, we just can't thank people enough because it was, you know, this Australian spirit that got us through and um, the, the support was just absolutely fantastic, whether it came from the Italian community, the rugby union community, the NRL, everybody chipped in and, you know, got, you know, Australians, you know, when one Australian is hurt, we're all hurt and it's just wonderful to know that spirit is there. So what are your key hopes for the final report, which is out in, in just a few hours? Well, it's been 14 months. It's been 14 months of pain for people. What we're hoping that today gives closure. It's really D-Day, damn day for, for Ipswich. We want to know that the recommendations that are going to be brought down are going to release the, the truth about what happened at Wybenhoe, whether whether it was uh, mismanaged. And we don't want blame. We want to know how we can move on for the future. We, we've had enough devastation. And we need to know that our future is secured and that the, the, the dam and the manual are upgraded so it's, it's not in a drought mentality, but that we, it is there for flood mitigation and we feel protected by, um, you know, Wybenhoe Dam and the people operating it. We want to make sure that the recommendations... Oh, about the future. Look, we're sick and tired of all the, the speculation on who's to blame. Let's just move on and make sure, you know, the, the cities that are affected by natural disasters, you know, can rest in peace. But do you think this was a natural disaster that, in a sense, could have been present, uh, prevented, if that's at all possible? Well, you, you've got to understand the background. You know, we went through 15 years of a drought, so, you know, people were preserving water and, and we were sort of in a drought mentality. So when the waters hit, I don't think anybody was prepared for the amount of water. And uh, when they when they kept Wyman Ho Dam at 190%, it was just a, just too much water. They should have um, released a lot of water a lot sooner than people were saying, but no one knows. You can't predict the future. It just you need to have people who are operating the dam that know how to operate it, can work with the Weather Bureau and give us some sense of assurance that the, the, the manual and the dam are there for flood mitigation as the first priority. Given that a state election is about eight days away, what kind of an impact do you expect this report to have on that election? Well, I just hope that the, you know, the, the, the report is not about the political status of, of Queensland, that the report is about you know, the, the people who were affected by the flood and that the recommendations are all based on what needs to happen to, to manage Queensland in, in terms of natural disasters. I think that's the, the crucial thing for all of us. If it gets embroiled in the, in the state election, what we're going to do is find recommendations that don't reflect the true um, needs of our community. Do you worry that politics will swamp the report? I think everybody in Queensland always worried about what politics is doing, and um, when you start seeing some of the, you know, the, the issues and, and, the, and the blame that's, you know, that's going on, it used to be government and opposition. Now it's all about hatred. What we want to see is the amount of money that was spent. Our city has cost us more than three million dollars in lawyers to make sure that all the facts are out there. It's cost the people of Queensland, you know, virtually over a hundred million dollars. But the lawyers have taken a lot, a lot of money from the people of Queensland. We want to hope that all the stuff that comes out now are the truth, the facts of Wyvernhoe Dam and what needs to happen for Queenslanders and the people affected by natural disasters that move on, you know, for the future. OK, Councillor Paul Pasali, Ipswich Mayor, many thanks for joining us on ABC News 24. Pleasure.